Well, hello there. <laughs> Welcome back to Potato's Corner. Uh, as it is a Halloween month, I decided uh, that we should play some Halloween-y things, as usual. Uh, I, I found this game a while back, and um, I was trying it out for j just a little bit. I didn't even beat the first level, um, but just to see how it would go. And uh, it's pretty fun. Um, it's called Savage Halloween. And, uh, yeah, here we go. Oh, actually, you know what? Hang on. Okay, good. Alright, here we go. Uh, so, as it stands, um, we, oh my gosh, look at Lulu. Well, of course we're gonna play as the werewolf, right? I mean, Dominica, Dominica, Dominica? She looks cool. Some of her colors look really bad, though. Like, the main pink looks cool. The, the gray looks alright. That one, I... Mm. And then he looks... Some, the, the green looks good. Some of the colors just look weird. Uh, we're gonna go with Lulu the wolf. The werewolf. Because, of course, we have to. Um, so yeah. Uh, oh, I guess I did beat the first... I don't remember it. <laughs> Oh, you know what happened? I played this a while back. And I beat the first level, and then I was... And then I stopped. I don't remember anything about this game, though. So, here we go. We're gonna start. <laughs> I'm love the... Oh, my goodness. Lulu. Oh, dialogue. Um, let's see. I need a voice. Uh, smell funny. There we go. That's a good voice. What am I doing? I don't know how to drive. <laughs> <coughs> oh, I am sorry. Excuse me. I what the heck is that? What in the world is that? Is that a ball? That's probably the ball. Oh no! I liked the car. That was a cool car. Oh man. Awakening. Here we go. Can I get back on the car? Oh, I can sit on the car. <laughs> All right. So, oh, change weapon, okay. So I guess this game plays kind of like Contra. Kind of cool. Oh, can I, uh, can I not shoot diagonally when I'm jumping? Ah, oh, that's a bummer. I do wonder if all the main characters have a different, um, what starting weapon. Like, does one start with a shotgun? Does one start with a machine gun? Uh, are you an enemy? Oh, no. Good. I like the music. I'm liking the music and the art style and everything. It's it's nice. No, it's... Oh, what the heck? Oh, I didn't even see him. I was so focused on those spiked jumps. Um... Oh. Okay, good. Very oh my gosh. It's very interesting how um, a lot of times people will look at a game like this or, you know, any game that looks like it came out of, like, the NES or the SNES era or even, like, farther than that. Anything that's considered, like, last gen or whatever. People, oh my gosh. People sit there and say that games like this can't survive in a modern market. Because they're like, oh, gosh, I'm just not making any progress. I'm sure when I played this the first time, I was doing a lot better. Um, but yeah, so those people confuse me. Because, like, games like this come out all the time. All the time. And anytime someone thinks something's not going to succeed because it just looks like an old school game, it's like, whoa, whoa. well, why would you play this when there's all these new games, though? It's like, well, because some of these are fun. And some of these old school kind of games are more God. They're they're more um, what's the word? Innovative? Not innovative. They're more creative than some games that are out today, like that are considered like AAA or whatever. Some of these indie games are so fun, or even just games that I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> 
all games are fun. I, I, I just feel like sometimes some of the newer games, they, they try to follow trends than to just be a game and have fun. Like this game. This game's just trying to have a good time. They took the idea of co of Contra, of all things, and decided to make a, um, a fun 2D platformer shooter game, kind of like in the vein of the NES days, or even, yeah, like this is, I guess, would be considered like an NES game. Couldn't be SNES because it's not 16-bit. Plus, these games just have a charm to them, too. Like, sprite work can go a long way. Um, for the, the look of your game and how charming it is. Because this game certainly is charming. I mean, look at the the Plague Doctor enemies and the, the bats and everything. I mean, yeah, I mean, like, we've seen bats in a lot of games. But there, there are certain things about it that I, I just find charming. I don't know what the other ammo does, but I'm going to save it because I'm going to need it for possibly a boss. Because I know there's going to be a boss that's here somewhere. That big thing looked like a boss. Um, speaking of Contra, um, I actually remember the very first Contra game that I ever played. It was, um... A, it was the one on the... I don't know if it was the only one on the Game Boy. The black and white Game Boy. Like, the the original Game Boy. But, um... I don't even remember the name of it either. But, uh... Oops. Yeah, uh, that, that one I played. That was the first one. And, um... It used to belong to a friend of my, well friends plural they were sisters and um we took martial arts together and um families are all good friends and uh they somehow got a hold of a game boy i don't remember exactly how or why or maybe maybe it was gifted to them or something um so they had what they have on it they had mega man 2 they had contra um, the LJN Spider-Man game, which I have, oh my gosh, I have actually played for the channel before, oh. and, oh, um, The Simpsons Escape from Camp Deadly, that was the other, what the heck is this, this little ghost, and the witch. Does anyone need a ride? Uh, yeah. I don't know what... Uh, sure, I mean, my car broke down, but... Oh, this is a... This is amazing. I'm loving this. Look at the ghost. So full of determination. That's awesome. Um, but yeah, so they... I, I think that's all the games they had. They had the, the LJN, Spider-Man, the Contra, Simpsons... I think that's it. And uh, we would take turns on the Contra game a lot and the Spider-Man game. And then um, one time I asked, well, you know, can I borrow Mega Man? So I borrowed Mega Man 2. And I had it for a while. I actually forgot I had it. And then all of a sudden I found it and I was like, oh my gosh, I forgot to give it to them. So I jammed back over. Um, I think it was... We were still taking martial arts together, but uh, we were at a different area because our um, Seabok, he... Um, something happened to the dojo, so he had to relocate, and uh, so I, I, I brought it in, in the bag that I had my gi in it and stuff, because we would have to change into our gi when we got there and stuff. So I had it in the bag, and, and I handed it I was going to hand it to them, and then they were like, ah, you can just keep it. And I was like, oh. So I did. And I still have it. I, I, I will never get rid of that game. I actually like Mega Man 2 on the Game Boy. 
Uh, the first one's really, really hard, but um, the rest of them are pretty good. I'm liking these little ghost guys. I mean, I don't like how they're attacking me, but I like that. What the heck? What is this? Music kind of reminds me of Scott Pilgrim. I, I, I should play that for this channel. I need to play that game. Again, I play that game so many times. Love Scott Pilgrim. Both the, the series and the the game. Okay, so those guys explode when they touch you too. Okay, so like floating mines, I guess. Like, I knew they exploded, but I didn't know if they would like... Oh, hello. they could have made a game just from this segment alone. Like, throw in different kinds of enemies here and there. Totally could have made it work. Oh, are we, are we done? Oh, nope. Let's try some of these other weapons. What's this do? Oh, this is nice. I kind of like this. This is kind of cool. Oh, except I'm getting... Mm, I don't like that frog. Okay, and the chickens are just... Explosion-y weapons. They're just like time bombs. Okay. Look how buff that werewolf is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh wait. There we go. I definitely get the feeling that, um, I really should be saving my ammo for the boss, but this is helping a lot with this segment, so I'm kind of... Oh, well, they just gave me a whole bunch of stuff, so... Except... Okay, little nitpick about the game. I don't like how when you get new ammo, it immediately changes to that gun. I mean, I get why they do it, but... boss the go it's a ghost oh wow my standard i i just picked the standard gun because i thought it'd be faster but wow this is doing a lot more damage than the other gun wait actually let's see i haven't actually tried that gun oh yeah no i'm gonna stick with this one <laughs> the other one was good but it you have to get up close to oh there he is boss fight times or health oh thank goodness there's health Okay, I'm gonna save the other health for when I might need it. Okay. Oh, hello. Is he, I just realized, is he spawning his little, like, babies? Dude. It's not good, man. Should be doing that. Oh. Uh-oh. 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 I wasn't paying attention to the babies. To babies' kids. Oh, shoot. Oh. That. I wish I had more lives. Oh, wait. I have my special. That doesn't do nearly as much damage as I thought it would. Oh. 
Yeah, um, this is not going well. I mean, this is kind of nice because it, it protects me with the ghosts, but... Oh, that's what the frog does. Oh, I forgot. Okay, so the frog is just good for... And then that's what, time bomb things? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, well, don't stand too close. I don't know what he's going to do if I stand too close. He might try to sit on me or something. Knowing how bosses work. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> okay. So as long as I take care of the... The bebes. Then I'm... The, ba the, the little tiny Cyclops things. Oh, his name's Big Daddy. Oh, it all makes sense now. Why why he, he has the babies. He's named Big Daddy. I get it now. That's okay. That's clever. That's clever. I like it. Come on. Yeah, we did it. Didn't even need that frog power up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Sweet. No death bonus. Hey, I even got an achievement. Neat. So wait, do I get to keep all my ammo? Oh, I do get to keep all my ammo. Oh, that's cool. That's really neat. Uh-oh. <laughs> well, it's begun. Once they bring ladders into it, I'm done, you rings. Oh, is that a is that a Santa Claus? <laughs> what? And he takes a lot of damage too. Oh no! I kind of oh, is that an enemy? Okay. What the heck is that? A platypus? Oh, it's an enemy. Okay. <laughs> ah. I kind of feel like we should just keep playing till I get a game over. Or like at least at least Yeah, like get a Oh. Interesting. So I can't dodge his bullets, even if I want to. <sighs> oh, shoot. I should have known. I would have fallen for that trap. Gosh, and I did. <laughs> Darn it. There we go. Oh, you know what? I wonder. Aha! The frogs came in handy. I 
much the chickens do? Oh! Well then, oh! Okay. What is this? Oh, I got an extra life. Oh, wait, so the extra lives don't look like the character heads. It's all always going to look like the pumpkin guy? Okay. Good to know. Cool. Mini boss time? Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It looks amazing. Wait, why does this give me Battletoads vibes? Uh oh. Uh oh, I suddenly don't like this. I'm getting flashbacks to uh, not just Battletoads, but Mega Man 8. If y'all have ever played Mega Man 8, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Jump, 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 jump. Slide, slide, jump, jump. It's the worst. There's that one. Uh, Flame Hind Yards burn to the ground. And then there's um, one other one that I can't remember, which was like terrible to deal with in Mega Man. though he's just having a he's just snowboards he got a little santa hat on oh, that's an awesome he's got so much charm i love it hmm i wonder can i reach that with the frog nope That hurt him. It did. Lovely. Oh, I can't actually... Oh, interesting. Okay. Now, um, I don't know if we're gonna beat this game or if I'm gonna go till I get a game over. But I am having a good time, so... Oh. Oh, okay. That was kind of weird. I do find it interesting that um, they're giving me uh, a lot of leg room, so to speak. To deal with like a lot of these enemies. But again, that makes me worried because We know that means that the uh, bosses might do some very interesting things. Oh, really? Oh, there we go. I am really having a good time with this game, though. I, I am thoroughly impressed.
And I usually don't play games like this, so like, that's a kind of big for me that this game's really fun. And I'm enjoying it. Oops. Oh, I, I uh, forgot to mention, um, most of the videos this year for Halloween month are going to be a lot of one-offs, unless there's one that I am literally just itching to do an entire playthrough of or something. Um, that's because... Oops, I'm losing a lot of health. That, that's because... Um, shoot, I really could have used that super and the health... I'm sure this is the boss. Pretty soon. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the when I was doing Scooby-Doo last year, which was really fun, don't get me wrong, I loved playing that 100 Frights again. But it did leave me with a, uh, a very worn-out feeling by the end of it. To be fair, though, that game was like a, a Metroidvania. And... Ow. I... Dang, I can't even touch him? Ugh, that's lame. Uh-oh. Oh, shoot. I need health really bad. Ah. Uh. Eh. I don't want to lose any lives. Oh, no! It was a trap. Gosh darn it. I should have known. It was too good to be true. There's... Mm. Nope. There. I gotta go cautious now. I see you. Oh, thank goodness. Wait, is there going to be a trap? I... They are giving me achievements for the weirdest things, but that's fine. I don't like how I'm really... I don't... Oh, this is the mini-boss right here. Load up. Square up. Let's go. Oh, it's like... Skull, his name is. Ow. He kind of reminds me of Mega Man. That's kind of cool. Ow. Oh, okay. He's actually not that bad. I just got to find the right pattern is all. Oh, I was too close. That was actually my bad. That's cool. He's kind of like a Mega Man boss. I like it. That was neat. He was probably a reference to something else, too, but I don't know. Oh, there was health right here. Oh, oh, come on now, really? It, it, it kind of seems like the... <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry, I'm, I'm dealing with, with a sore throat. Allergy season... Always gets me. Okay, I see. Aha, I figured it out. Alright, um, this is a trick. I wait for him to go up there. There we go. Ah, here we are. All right, let's see. I'm just going to try out... Okay, whoa, hello. Glinda. Oh, is that a reference to... Uh, what is it? Um, Freaking Wizard of Oz? Interesting. How interesting. I kind of like that. Ow. Oh, 
Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so when she does that, I should do the triangle move. It looks like. Uh oh. Figuring it out. Oh, I actually got to break those too? I didn't know that. Oh no! I forgot about that move. Yeah, that move's really good. Yeah, we did it! Oh, she's actually freezing. That's cool. I like all the little effects in this game. It's neat. Sweet. We did it. Wow. We're thrashing this game. What area is next? Dr. Frank. Oh, that's cool. A Jekyll and Hyde thing almost. Um, that being said, though, uh, we are going to stop it here. Uh, mostly because uh, video's already gone a little longer than usual. So, um, thank you all for joining me today. I had a lot of fun playing uh, this game. I have quite a lot of fun, actually. I'm really enjoying myself. I will see you guys next time for more Halloween goodness. Have a good one, everybody. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye.